Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa and today I am going to be stuffing some envelopes in the 100 envelope challenge. Um, so as of this last paycheck, I fully funded my emergency fund with the money that I had set aside for house savings and this is what is left in house savings, which is $1,000. So I'm going to stuff $1,000 in my 100 envelope challenge and keep this money um, in cash in these envelopes. So I'm gonna do this a little bit differently. I'm just gonna start with one and work my way up to 100. And my goal is to put $100 in each one of these envelopes so that at the end, I'll have $10,000. So let me go ahead and get started. Let's count this just so that can make sure that what I have here is a thousand. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 900, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is a thousand. All right, so I am using envelopes that I made myself. I do have an Etsy shop and I sell um, these mini envelopes. If you want to check out my Etsy shop, it's Lisa Marie Budgets and I'll have it linked down below um, in the description box. Everything in my Etsy shop is 50% off right now. Okay, so for envelope number one, we're gonna put $100. Now, usually you would put $1 in the $1 envelope, $2 in the two, and so on until you get to $100. But I am focused on house savings, and I, I would like to stuff $100 in each envelope. At least that is the goal. So uh, envelope one is done. So I'm just going to kind of color that in a bit. And then here's envelope number two, and everything is empty in here. So my goal is to save 20% for a house, which is $20,000. And you might be concerned that this money is going to be, you know, in my house and not secured, and that is not going to be the case. Um, I have access to a huge um, standing safe that is um, about as tall as I am, and, um, and that's where I plan to store my money. So don't be worried that, um, that this cash is just going to be floating around in my house unsecured, because that is not the case. All right, so let's do number three. I've been looking at land near my house and um, land, it depends on where it is and what kind of subdivision it is, but a lot of the houses or the land out in the country here in the central Arkansas area, which is, and I'm considering central Arkansas anything within an hour drive of Little Rock without traffic. Um, is about 10,000 an acre. And I'm not really quite sure how, you know, this is going to work out, but if I could find land to pay cash for and then start saving for a down payment on like a modular home, then that would be great. Um, modular homes a lot, or at least the size that I want is under a hundred thousand dollars. I think uh, the one I was looking at was 79,000. Of course, with any um, house like that, we definitely would need a storm shelter in case of tornadoes, but um, I'm thinking that if I could find the right piece of property then I could pay cash for property and then save for um, the house separately. There's just, now is not the time to buy, but I, I do have my eye out and 
keeping up with uh, the cost of land around here. So that when I do see a good deal, I will know it. I think my son and daughter-in-law want to move out this this way as well. And I tell you, it would be nice if we could get some acreage and just have all of us live together. That would be just amazing to have the grandbabies on the same property. That would just be fabulous. But I do um, want to make a purchase. Um, I want to be in my own house in the next two to three years. That is the goal. My YouTube income is typically about $500 a month. So, you know, anything I have left over for my paychecks is gonna go into this challenge. Um, my YouTube income, unless I have some something earmarked for something else, that will be used for the envelope challenge. So um, I should be able to get to 10,000 pretty quickly. One, two, three, four, five. So here's 100. do the nine no. anyway I thought about doing a different type of challenge um, like the $20,000 challenge or the $100,000 challenge but I find that um, I really have a hard time finishing these challenges because stuff comes up and I just want to, I want to start small, I guess about as small as I can. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So this is what I have in house savings right now, which is $1,000, which is, you know, kind of stinks. I had to dip into that money to replenish my emergency fund. But um, if you're new here, I had a a chihuahua named Chewy. He got really sick at the beginning of this year and I spent several thousand dollars trying to save him and ultimately he passed away and um, so I had that come up. Moving was a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Um, I had to pull some money from savings to pay the movers and then I did buy a washer and dryer um, for this place. Um, because it didn't have one. So anyway, we're starting all over and my emergency fund is fully funded at $10,000 and we've got $1,000 towards house savings. So um, that is everything for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting my channel and I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you're at.